Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today it is finally, finally, finally time for a studio tour. But not just a studio tour, it's my finished, furnished, decorated studio tour and I'm very excited to finally show you it. Thank you so much for your patience on this. I totally kind of a little bit forgot about it. It's a very beautiful day, let's get started. So here we have the front door. Not at all very interesting. Then to the right we have like this closet where I have all my coats and stuff and you also have the electricity uh, stuff, I don't even know. But when you go to the right of it, you have a very pretty poster made by me. I got the picture frame at the Friends Experience and I am obsessed with it. And I actually wanted in my first home to put it around the peephole, but I don't have one, so that is such a shame. So I made this poster and I am obsessed. If you wanted to, it's on Pinterest, so you can download it too. So to the left of the front door, we have the bathroom. So this this is the bathroom. It is not a lot, but it is actually very generous. It's better than my old bathroom. I have this really, really cute Sweet Cheeks bath mat and I am obsessed with it. I think it's from Urban Outfitters. So to the left, we have like this little corner shelf and I love it so much. It's from Ikea and it fitted perfectly in this little corner and I really needed some extra space. Up here, we have like this little edge and I just put a lot of stuff on it because I think it's cute. So like cleaning supplies, toilet paper, fake plant of course because there's no light in here whatsoever a very very cute poster that I got from where did I get this perfume jewelry products a very very big mirror with lights in it how cool is that I still love that I'm obsessed with it bathroom stuff cute pink towel from H&M shower which was already there when I got here I have these shelves on the wall also from Ikea and they're actually very sturdy which I'm very happy with this is where I hold the towels because I have no better space for it oh and a laundry basket from a Dutch store called Blocker I really like the color it's so cute that's the bathroom to the left, right across from the front door, we have a mirror. One of the things I was always looking forward to when I got my own place is that I could get a bigger mirror. <laughs> in my last place, I had like this really small mirror on this really small wall and it fitted perfectly, but I was not satisfied with it. But this, this is a mirror and I like it a lot. Mirrors from Ikea. And I also have this sticker which says, you look blooming lovely and it's so cute. This is like kind of my laundry closet slash storage closet which is very messy and very full of stuff so that's not important but you know what's there a lot of stuff <laughs> when you come in you go to the kitchen right away and i love my kitchen oh my god it's such a good kitchen so we have an oven slash microwave built in a fridge built in with freezer how awesome is that we have a lot of cabinet space actually also down there and this as a dishwasher. That is so incredibly nice. And I did not even show you the stove, but below this is my stove. Look at that. This is an induction stove. So it's not a gas. It's actually a gas-free building, so that is really nice. But that is hidden under there. It's actually a cutting board, but also meant to put over the stove. So you have some extra counter space since I only have one but over here we have some knives i never found a better spot for it so this is just gonna be its spot then we also have my coffee machine which is one of the most prettiest things in this whole studio i am obsessed with it this is from create as well as my kettle they're both from create and i am obsessed with them still i love the look of it it's so gorgeous and it makes very good coffee <laughs> and also the kettle is just so pretty I love the wooden touches then over here to the right we just have cutting boards and soap and you know not very interesting stuff i got all of my towels from a very very fun store in the netherlands which is called Dille and Camilla. If you're ever in the Netherlands and you have never been to that store before, you really, really, really should. They have such cute things. I mean, look at this towel. It is so, so nice. And this, I also have these in pink and I love it so much. So that 
is the kitchen. So when you turn around, you have the couch and the trash can. <laughs> so I have a pink couch <laughs> and I love it so much. It's so good. It's pretty. It's also very comfortable. Good enough for three people to sit on. It's not that big, but it's the perfect size, perfect color. On it, we have Hugsy from Friends, from the Friends experience and a little cute cat and these really pretty pillows. Look at them. These are also from a Dutch store. I forgot the name, but this is the name. And we have a nice plaid from Ikea. Then we also have this rug. It is as soft as it looks. It's literally so incredibly soft. This one's also from a Dutch store. I'm so sorry for my foreign viewers. This is from Lane Bocker and it's really worth its money. It's so nice. This little coffee table and I got these really cute coasters. I have been searching for coasters for like so long, but I could never find any cute ones. Then I found these and these were like semi cute. Like I like them, but there could be better ones out there. But for now, this is totally fine. These are also from a Dutch store. Oh my God. These are from Hema. I think they come in like a pack of four, but they're cute and they fit the rest of my aesthetic. Across from the couch is my TV and a very ugly lamp that I've had for way too long and it's kind of broken in many places, but we're just gonna ignore the lamp. But this is my TV and I know it is huge. It might look huge on camera, but that is because it is huge. I actually like the size a lot. Like it's big, but it's really nice to look at. And I love my TV stand too. It is so, so nice. This is from, I believe it's called Sweet with three E's. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. I never want to get rid of it. And it also matches the wood of my coffee table really well. Inside of it, we have a lot of electrical messy stuff. And over there are some decorational stuff that I don't use right now. And we also have my Switch, my Switch games. This is bothering me. <laughs> we have the whole Friends DVD collection because why not? <laughs> and a sweet little green face and a candle in the shape of a flower. Can you guess where I got it? On top, we have these very, very old magazines, which I honestly like so much. I also got this at a thrift store once and these are so old. This is from October 22nd, 1960. Like how cool is that? It is Dutch. Most of you probably can't read it, but how fun is that? And some burnt up candles are on top. Then on this side, we have a little thingy which shows how hot it is in here, which it's very hot right now because it's summer. And a very pretty candle from Primark. Yes. Some matches and my Google Home is tucked in behind there. Over there, we have a little basket with blankets and slippers. And that is kind of like my TV area. I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. And also my lamp. Look at my lamp. This is also from Sweek or is this from a different store? And is this from Sweek? I will put it as screen where I got this from because I honestly don't remember anymore. I do like it a lot. They had something similar at Ikea, but I just really like this one because of the fabric around it. It's pretty. Plus this is pretty too. Like often this is not the pretty part of the lamp, but it still looks really good. It's like a rope. You probably can tell very well, but it's a rope. How fun is that? I definitely like this area a lot. So moving on, we have my desk area and also my record player. Let's start at my desk. I have these very pretty chairs from Ikea, which also match the lamp. These pillars are also from Ikea. They don't fit the chair exactly, but they had nothing better. <laughs> and these are actually quite comfortable. So I thought they made it a lot more homey, plus just more comfortable to sit on all day. So then the table is also from Ikea, as well as this little nightstand. It's actually a nightstand, but I don't use it as a nightstand. Then we have this lamp over here, which I got from AliExpress, I think like a long, long time ago. And I finally have a use for it. It's cute. It's pretty. Then my fruit bowl with some pears in it. Then over here, we have my iMac setup and it's a really cute corner for it. It's kind of like tucked in the corner. So it's not like right in front of the window and everyone can see what I have inside. But I think it looks really pretty here. And we have this mouse mat. Over here, we have this really pretty tile that I got from a friend as a housewarming gift. It's in Dutch, but it's really cute. And we have this little ducky right here, which is also a lamp. Over here, we have my little ducky that I made myself. I still have to like 
glaze it but it's cute here and it's vibing and we have a candle and a picture of my grandpa who passed away so that is my little desk area then besides it we have my record player i got this for my birthday and i wanted to take it with me but i didn't really have a place for it and then finally i found this cute side table this is perfect it has like a little shelf where i can put my records on and it has a little drawer which is always nice and it fits the wood of my desk slash dining table my record player is from crossley and it looks so good i'm very happy with it and there are my records i have them down here with this plant that is dying it's not happy at all by the way how cute are my curtains i just love them both curtains are from ikea and i just love 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 this one i always thought when i move out i want these double layered curtains so i did it and I could not be happier with it. It's so, so cute. Then over here, hidden behind the curtain, we have this little sunlight catcher thing. You know, when the sun shines on it, then it'll project some of those rainbow spots on the wall and it's just magical and I love it. Moving on from the desk, when you go to the right, we have the back door because I live on the ground floor. So I have like a little yard. Over there, we have my bedroom area because of how the wall is placed. Like when you sit on the couch, you don't really see a lot of it like you don't see your complete bedroom area which is really really nice so it's kind of like tucked away in the corner and that makes it so cozy but this is my bedroom area and i'm so happy with it so these sheets i'm obsessed with these are from h&m and i think they are perfect my whole studio is like pink and green accents actually like pink is kind of the main color and then green is my secondary color so this one is perfect we have some throw pillows over there my books that i always read at night and this little nightstand no it's not really a nightstand it's like a night shelf <laughs> my cousin made this for me and i just love it so much it's so incredibly pretty and it's like not straight it's like kind of like you know wobbly like actual wood and it's just gorgeous we have a salt lamp a pretty plant that i got as i was forming gift for my dad some books which i use more as decoration but i do plan to read some time and of green gables gables i still don't know how to pronounce it and alice in wonderland just some classics and some really pretty covers and a clock from ikea which i'm not sure they still have down here we have <laughs> my pajamas and also my boyfriend's pajamas so it's not very tidy but we just put it over there because it's easy and like this little step up thing so i can get into my bed because oh my god i so forgot to mention i have dressers as a bed so it's a very very high bed i can't really properly show you but my bed is very high so because of the small space i didn't really want to have a separate bed and a closet because i do like clothes and i do have a ton of clothes i wanted to do something different and i got dressers as like my bed frame so i have one over here one over there and one on the inside so it's like in a u shape and i can like lift up my mattress and just go underneath into that closet so underneath we have this and my my niece built an edge around it so it doesn't look too ugly and on top is my mattress then above my bed we have this really large plant that is thriving over there <laughs> it's growing so much this is a picture of when i just moved in and i had it for like a few months but now it's grown so much in the last six months it's insane and then we just have all of my books over there i was always looking forward to my own pretty bookshelf when i moved out so very happy that my niece made this for me and i also have these very cute pink lambs hanging beneath it i still don't know where i got them because i broke them and i still don't know where i got them to buy new ones so i'm sorry but i can't help you there and to the right on the other side in this little corner we have a lot of pictures if you're interested i posted a video and where I like put all of this up and I looked for pictures and I printed them out definitely check it out because oh my god it's so pretty I love it so much we also need a moment for my lamp look at it how gorgeous is it it's from the same store as this one as you might be able to tell by the rope I love it and because it's so open it gives off a lot of light and I think it looks so good in this space I think it is perfect in here. Then we also have this little edge in the window with a fake plant that I brought with me from home. And look at this little guy. I got this at a Dutch store called Xenos and it's just so cute. And it's like supposed to be like this, like hanging from a plant pot, but it's just so adorable. 
Oh my god. We have my watering can and we have a photo book from me and my boyfriend from our vacations. So that is the bedroom area. I think that was everything that I had to show you. I was really excited to show you the furnished place even though you did already see a lot of it. But now it's really finished. It is a done tour. But anyway, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye. I love you.